G'day gang, Danny, how you going? We're back in the World of Warcraft, the Burning Crusade. We've got this quest coming up, but I just wanted to mention something. Uh, Wrath of the Lich King Classic is being announced. Officially, the date that it's going to release, I believe, is the 28th? <laughs> 28th, 27th, 26th, September, around then. Uh, one of those dates are correct, I'm sure. Uh, so, I've also got a 50% experience gain now at the top. And we're probably going to start rocking and rolling because that's pretty close. And I want this guy ready for Wrath of the Lich King. So there might be some extended videos. Um, but yeah, we're going to try to get as close as we can to level 70 before Wrath of the Lich King releases. Anyway, let's keep going. Good fortune. And hopefully that 50% experience gain is going to help. I fear the Colonel Jules may only be saved through our dangerous ritual and exorcism, the exorcism of Colonel Jules. Oh, Trax, yes, it is time to save Colonel Jules. His condition has worsened and Barada fears that if we do not cleanse him of his corruption, he will be lost to us. Take the prayer beads you found and speak with Anchorite Barada to begin the ritual. Let no disruption stop the ritual and if all goes well, Colonel Jules will be saved. Speak with Jules when he is saved, then return to me. That's assuming... To you're assuming that we'll actually get through this, mate. Okay, let's talk to this one. Warm wishes to you. I am ready, Anchorite. Let us begin the exorcism. Be kind to those less fortunate. It is time! The rite of exorcism will now commence. Prepare yourself. Do not allow the ritual to be interrupted, or we may lose our patient. Keep away! The fool is mine! While you do that, I'll make some root cloth uh, bandages. Because why not? The power of the light compels you back to your pit! Alright. Give us time, let the man die. I am no one, I am no one. Fear the anchorite, fear the anchorite. Brada, brada. What? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Colonel Jules. The spirits, the spirits are flowing. Oh, we got the darkness being released. some of this down. Nope. Oh, don't pull the camera too far back. Considering what's going on, I don't know about this music. It doesn't seem to fit or match. Oh, we're releasing the darkness. It's just another good day in the old inn. Oh, I should be able to use exorcism, right? That would make sense. No, I can't use it. Come on, hit it. Avenger shield. Always oh, floating. I see your ancestors, Anchorite. They writhe and scream in darkness. They are with us. Be spewing. Back, foul beings of darkness, you have no power here. Come on, Barada. Get him. Oh, there's a foul purge over there. Run out of mana. Foul purge on the ground. Come on, hit it. Oh, he's taking hits. Need to tank him. So surprised I can't actually, uh... 
Use exorcism on him. Gotta heal him up. Hang in there, Barada. Oh my goodness. Back, I cast you back, corrupter of faith. Author of pain, do not return or suffer the same fate as you did here today. Whew, that was a close one. Open your heart to the light. Okay. Safe journey. Colonel Joel saved. Oh, thank you. The pit of blackness inside of me has been lifted. I can see again. And I see the face of my savior. All right, job's done. May the light embrace you. Go to Anchorai Berardo, Artraxius. He must succeed where we've already done it, buddy. You have done it, Artraxius. You have saved Colonel Jules' soul and cast the darkness within him back to where it came. A great noble deed this is. A hero's day. While we were busy, a messenger was waiting out in the hall. I suppose he grew tired, or perhaps he simply ran away at the sight of jewels floating around the room. Either way, Force Commander Danath is looking for you. I suggest that you seek an audience with him inside the barracks as soon as possible. Do not lose faith. Okay. There's also another quest over here. Excuse me, Arator of the Redeemer. Light be with you. We have been having a problem with Arakoa bandits raiding many of our supply caravans, so I hired some dwarves to take care of them. They were brothers. Gremny Longbeard was the oldest. I'm a little worried about them. Those crazy dwarves pack more ale than food or ammunition. Perhaps you can go check on them. The Arakoa's hideout, the Den of Halish, can be found to the far <laughs> west of here, beyond the great... You all right, buddy? Beyond the Great Fisher, they've set up camp northwest of here, south of Duskquill Ravine. Be careful. If you're really the son of Teralion, go speak with Trollbane. I am honored. How may I help? I was only an infant when my father was deployed to this wasteland. All that I have ever known of him is what others have told me. Do your dreams change, Artraxius? Mine do not. I have one dream. A crimson skyline envelops me as legion, numbering beyond comprehension. Battle in the distance. I kneel before the body of a man, presumably my father, and weep. As he is gasping for air, his body wholly crushed, he whispers something. Despite every effort, I am unable to hear what he is trying to tell me. Till next we meet. The son of Teralion? And, uh, one of the Windrunners, I <laughs> can't remember the name. One of the Windrunners, yeah, there's three of them. There's three of them. Not Sylvanas, but another one. Okay, so let's go inside and uh, we'll have a chat to... Um, what's his name? Oh, Danath. Danath Trollbane, of course. Of course that's his name. Let's see what he would like. Need help? It's about time. I heard all about what you've been up to with that Draenei priest. You totally freaked my messenger out. Now that you're done with that, I have a little mission plan for you to Hellfire Citadel. I'm receiving reports that the Shattered Hand Felhawks out in front of Hellfire Citadel are organizing for what looks like an all-out assault. No doubt they're not happy about your successes against all of the clans. Get to the base of the Citadel, and where the Path of Glory ends, you'll find the Felhawks busy with their preparations, but you're going to catch them. Uh, with their pants down. Eliminate the one that's in charge of that force. Kill Drill Master Zurok. Light bless you. Okay. Sounds like fun. So, 
Let's have a look at that quest. It's a group quest. Uh, let's... Let's have a little look. I guess we could try. It's out over here on the... Drill the Drill Master. So it is a group quest. We've also got the dungeon week in the ramparts, but I don't... I, I don't know. I'm seeing a lot more activity around, though. So maybe it is possible to get a group together, but... I might have to do that outside of this episode. Or for a new episode. Just because it'll be a lot... It'll be like... 10 to 15, maybe 30 minutes of trying to find and put, a, put together a group. I'd rather start the episode going into the dungeon. So what I might do is I'll try to... We'll try to complete this area possibly and then take it from there. Well, there's the drill master. He's an elite unit. I got a few buffs. Um, I don't know if I can reach him from up here, though. Because once I go down there, I think that's a one-way... One-way street, although I do have a... I do have a way of... Halfing back over there. But if I could get this guy up here without all his buddies... It's just I can't see through the tent... Through the covering here... Who else is awaiting? Can't use that to pull... This has got a 30 yard range, I must just be outside of that. However, who's in there? Oh, he's gonna start casting from back there, isn't he? Can I pull him up a little bit? Well, that's a negative. Is the drill master gonna come down? Drill master doesn't seem to be fast. So once the drill master moves, I can get back down there. Oh, okay. He's run out of mana. Even better. Turn into a melee warlock. Actually, I better use this so he doesn't run away. Bear in mind, this guy is actually elite level. He's elite level and level 62. I'm level 60, so that could be a problem. Now, can I bubble half? Can I do that quick enough, just in case it goes south? stamina okay I've got a healing potion uh, I've got a better healing potion over here 1050 this one 1500 2000 okay, I might equip that oh dear oh dear oh dear Oh no! Oh no! Well, I'm in it now. I'm in it now. And I can see clearly that I'm taking little to no damage off and there's a guy coming over. Oh, that's a bit of a knockback. Alright, that's no good. 
I'm hoping for the best here. I'm hoping for the best. Go, Hearthstone. I got five seconds. Four, three, two. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Okay, all right, maybe when I'm a little higher level. Jeez, that really came down to it. So. That's what happens if I do that. All right, we're going to go down to unyielding souls, and then we'll probably come around this way. Uh, yeah, maybe when I'm level, I guess even 61 would be good, but 62 would be even better. I mean, level 62, I'd imagine I wouldn't have too much of an issue at that point. If I'm able to get it to a point where I'm ju it's just him and myself. If we can get to that point. Actually, I don't know why I went all the way over. There is a back way out on a hold. Uh, we should also pick this up over here too. Get both of those quests. Ravager eggs round up in case of emergency. Yo! In the event of an emergency, it's always a pilot's job to keep a level head, especially when the only orders from your co-pilot follows uh, comes from his stomach. The good news is that we won't need to wait days for replacement parts to be imported. The bad news is that the spare parts got scattered from here to the Valley of Bones to the east. The other bad news, well, the spare parts aren't so spare. They uh, fell off during our rapid descent. Could you help me collect enough to get us off the ground again? Right no. I'm his money, friend. I guess so. I'm starving. There's irony in that, wouldn't you say? A starving cook? Legacy laughs half-heartedly and taps a folded piece of parchment he has in his pocket. According to this tourist map we were following, before we were so rudely shut down, there's an area to the southwest near Terracar Forest. It's called the Razorthorn Trail, and supposedly it's brimming with delicious ravager eggs. I could cook up quite a few feasts if only someone were brave enough to go down there and get me some. Keep it real. Keep it real. All right, so he wants us to go over there. Um. And then we're going to go collect the Zeppelin parts. Okay. Alright, well maybe we'll do that first. It's always a problem when you get all these quests. It's like, where do I begin? Where do I go first? Uh, it could also be increased activity on the server because Wrath of the Lich King has actually been announced. Because look, there's this people everywhere. people trying to level up and especially now with this 50 percent gain so it might not be a difficult task of getting people together to run through this dungeon the difficult task will probably be can i hold threat i hope so i haven't actually tanked a dungeon yet on this guy here. Hopefully I can get it. Also, the other thing that's cool is I'm going to get materials for my Ravager dogs. My Ravager dogs. Uh, what was the other thing I had to do? Twelve. Eleonora's. That's your egg. Wonder if I can get it before the stun wears off. Yep. Oh 
Oh no, Eleonora, that was my egg! <laughs> Although she might be uh, just looking to do some leather work and skinning. On you, Eleonora. That's my egg, I claimed it. A lot of uh, corpses over here for her to skin though. So this is probably pretty cool. I mean, more people around means these eggs will probably spawn pretty quick too. Another egg down here. Oh, there's two eggs. Look at this. Now we're talking. So 50% increased experience. Plus, I'm on 200% experience, right? So I got all that rest of the XP. Hopefully we get to level 70. Uh, before Wrath Lich King launches. I'd say what's going to happen here is I'm going to continue this series uh, until I reach a point where I think I'm not going to be able to get to 70 in time. At that point, I'm probably going to run some really long live streams and they'll be recorded, of course, right here on the channel. So they'll still be part of the series, but it'll be, uh, it'll be very long, <laughs> as in two or three hours long. Hopefully we get close. Because I think I need to get to 68 essentially. I don't even know if I need to get to 70, but I think 68 will do it. Another egg. Beautiful. Four more to go and we can get out of here. There's a big fella over here who could potentially be having... carrying an egg. Thank you for the buff. Come on, 30%. Nice. I see two eggs in front of us. One over here. One over there. Stay back. Stay back, level 59. And then that guy over there, and then we're good. Oh, if you haven't noticed, I have actually- I got an invite to Alpha, Dragonflight Alpha, and I have uploaded three videos so far. There's a fourth and a fifth coming out soon. But if you're kind of interested in getting a little idea of what- what you're in for for Dragonflight, or you'd like to see what the drag theory are like, or maybe I don't get a- get a glimpse of the new dungeon, one of one of several new dungeons uh check it out check it out it's an alpha series so i won't be reading all the quest text like i usually do in this it's more just getting a getting a little a, a good little look at it once dragonflight actually releases i'll be doing a full playthrough as i do as i did through shadowlands which will include all the well everything pretty much i don't know maybe there was a dungeon i missed possibly but if we went past it in a quest, I certainly went through it. You have those eggs yet? Lagasi's stomach grumbles in anticipation. 
In order to have great cuisine, you need to have great ingredients. And these eggs look great. I've just finished cleaning off my frying pan, so you're more than welcome to join me for a meal. Mmm, those eggs are superb. But what do you say we kick it up another notch? A side of bacon would round out the meal perfectly, and I know just where to get it. The place is littered with hellballs. Of course, there's no one here to inspect and tenderize a meat, but we're in luck. Lagasse rummages around in his pack and produces a flask. This wasn't made for use on pork, but cooking is as much about improvisation as anything else. <laughs> Where I could help! What did you give me, Lagasse? What did you give me? Hellball, the other white meat. Lagasse at the Zeppelin crash wants you to gather a purified hellball meat to purify the meat. Use the purification mixture on the tainted hellball meat you gather from the hellballs, okay? And that is over here. Sprinkle over tainted hellball meat. Okay, I guess I gotta I gotta it's gotta be my own kills, right? Blood Elf Paladin. Actually, I should be doing a bit of that. Weapons sharpen for another 20 seconds. Food buffs run up. Tainted meat. Purified hellball meat. Fantastic. Okay, so... Uh, I need to... Uh, eat some food, right? Gotta eat some food. Start by eating some food, that's good. And then I gotta sharpen my weapon up. I can't wait to use this. The Fist of Reckoning. I mean, I lose all stats, like, strength and stamina, all that stuff, but I get hit, crit, and attack power, right? That's gotta be good. For a little bit. But I want to increase my spell power and holy damage as well, right? I guess it's intellect. Bit of that intel. That's really quite cool to see so many people riding around. Because probably what you've seen so far, we haven't really seen too many people running around. Any other hellballs around? Oh, there's a piece that I need to pick up. Don't you hate when you get interrupted right at the last second? Undead warlocks. Yeah, I was considering going and uh, returning to Retribution, but I don't know, like, I've sort of been going so long now. And I do like the way this is placed. It just is so much better when you can get, when you can get a few enemies around, right? But I'm absolutely, I can't believe how many people are around. So every couple of seconds somebody runs past. It's awesome. 
Unless they're looking for Hellbore too. Oh, but they're level 70. Yeah, there's another paladin around. They're just gathering up all the Hellbores. Must be a protection paladin as well. Here we go. One. Two. Three. I'll stick with three. Yep, there's the paladin right there. Exorcism. Absolute mana drainer. Come on. Almost there. Take you. Take you. Let's see. Come on, give us some meat. Come on. Come on. Four. Four it is. Okay. What do I need for that? 660. Alright, so we got you and you over there. So that's good. Come on, just get enough money so I can cast once. Let's have a drink. We'll get those two together. Fist of Reckoning. This is a two-hander I got. I, I don't know. I don't really remember. Actually, I know. Well, I was in the Plague Lands. That's right. It was like just one mob I went up to and killed it. Got that straight away. I don't know if it's worthwhile hanging on to. Might be a little bit too late to sell it now. I don't know. Dismounted immediately. One in now. Hit him up with an exorcism. Nice experience gains there. Four of eight. Come on, get us to six of eight. Six of eight, six of eight, six of eight. Come on. Come on. Let's go. That's it. Seven of eight. Come on. Oh, beautiful. One more. Beautiful. Just one more.
Whoops. One there. Keep an eye on that second one. Just in case a patrol's close by. Hopefully we don't need to worry about it. Ah, oh, okay. Jeez, look at that big fella. See, like, you can see it's pretty damn big, right? Pretty damn huge. You don't hear anything, even though it's just there. Silent assassin. Give us it. Eight of eight. Eight of eight. Come on. Eight of eight. Eight of eight. Ah! Oh. It's not listening. I said eight of eight. You heard me say eight of eight, right? Come on. This is the one. This is the one. Oh, uh, gotta refresh that. Oh. Don't want to deal with that cross burster. Oh, hey guys, do you want to dismount and fight this thing for me? Thanks, hey, guys. <laughs> Thanks, fellas. Ah, but we're not eight of eight yet. Ah, oh, damn it. You know what's going to happen. I wanna... I'll get a group together and then it'll just drop from the first one. Just there's so much cross bursters over here. Don't want to pull those, but if I stay here long enough. Oh crap, the Fell Reaver's coming by. You better not come this way. You better not be coming this way, punk. Oh jeez. There's no way it's going this way. Man, it is coming pretty close. Big fella. He's totally spun around and came right back. Crossbus have got very close as well. No, 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 no. All right, let's see. First one. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Of course, it's on the first one.
Alright, let's get back. Go on, give me his damn meat. Here's your freaking meat, fella. There goes the Fell Reaver. So what happens to the other meats that we had? Just takes it. Talk to me. Well, uh, you successful in purifying the Hellball meat. Hmm, this looks edible if spiced properly. Just don't tell Screed where his breakfast came from, okay? Screed likes to say his flying is as smooth as butter. Nothing but a finger is more like it. Take it. Oh crap. Don't do that to me. Don't do it. See, where was it? <laughs> right past us. Take a look at the wreckage over there. He calls it a rough landing. Sure, we got shot at, but I'd be willing to cut him a little more slack if he didn't brag about his piloting skills so often. I think I'm gonna make him a batch of wings to drive the point home. To the east in the Valley of Bones, you'll find bone stripper buzzards. Their wings are plump, juicy, and perfect for my needs. What's up? Hurry back! Talk to me! I <laughs> is my I can help! See, he gives him a hard time, but he still makes him breakfast, right? Sounded like a pretty damn good breakfast, too. He's got eggs. He's got bacon. He's got some wings happening. Good stuff. Uh, so smooth as butter, plump buzzard wings. Now we've got to watch out for this guy. Oh, he kind of darted forward a little bit, then went backwards. I wonder if you claimed somebody. Actually, I've never looked at this, but how many Fell Reavers are there actually in the zone? I'm thinking maybe three, but it might just... I wonder if it's just one. Like, all this time I've been playing the game, I've always done my level best to avoid that thing. I've never actually thought, how many are there in the zone? I mean, how large it is, you'd expect to hear some hard impact into the land. Okay, so um, we got plump as a buzzard, we got plump buzzard wings, and we got to get uh, Zeppelin debris. I wonder if there's a little bit of multi-boxing going on these days still. Somebody was certainly here. Means we can grab some of the debris easily enough. behind me, but these guys are a little bit lower level, which is nice. Gonna join the party there, Buzzard. I'll bring the party to you then. This guy seems to be a little stuck.
There's going to be quite a few buzzers over here. Come on, plump. Yes, one plump. Ah. Oh. Yeah. There's a plump fell raver over there. I'm going to put a diamond over your head. Put a skull on another one. See how far you actually go, Fell Reaver. Because there's a Fell Reaver, I mean, it goes all the way around here, but I wonder if there's two different Fell Reavers for this zone. And there's another one over here, maybe. Where'd it go? See, it's gone. Stealth Fell Reaver. Gone. need 12 wings <laughs> I hope one of these I can get like two wings and in, in one go that type of thing the good thing is I've also got to get the debris at the same time so there's a fair bit of debris around here Three or two. What the heck? This thing gunned for us. Wonder if it answered the call or something. Forty percent. You better pay up. I want that wing. I want that wing, buzzard. I want that wing. Hand her over. Oh, doesn't even have a wing for us. After all that. Fair few pieces to pick up over here. Don't want to go too close though. There's some orcs over here. The Bleeding Hollow. Those packs are becoming pretty stuffed. More buzzards over here. So those buzzards over there, I mean, there's a plenty of them over there, but I just worry that the Fell Reaver might pass straight through that area. Always watch your back, folks. You never know when that bloody reaver's gonna pop up. Yeah, it's like it, it hears it, doesn't it? There must be a, must be something in the chat that says, oh, the buzzard calls for 
for help or something. Screeches in pain. And the two-headed buzzard hears. Flaps on over, real casual-like. Because he never really liked that buzzard in the first place. But damned if he's gonna let you take his bones. Five for twelve. So if it's gonna release in September, I'd imagine that means at the beginning of September, we get the pre-expansion patch. Beginning September, second week of September, something like that. Which means the way I play this Paladin will change a little bit. I believe my Avenger Shield becomes an instant cast. And I don't know, I can't quite remember how mana worked back then because I never used a mana character, mana based character, all my characters were, well I only ever played one character back then. It was my warrior, and it was all about the rage. And I don't know one ability that came into being around about that time, which was fantastic, I'm pretty sure. The heroic leap, Titan's grip. And I think... Blade Storm? I think. But the heroic leap was awesome. Which I remember first using, I always thought they were just going to take it out of the game because how you could leap up on top of things. But they might have taken it out of the game. But it's still here till this day. And I love it. Even though I haven't played a warrior in such a long time. One of my favorite abilities. And Blade Storm. Slot back a little bit. Nice. Nice. Not so nice. Another piece there for me. Another piece there too. That's coming over. Buddy, I'm not gonna mess around with just one of yours. Ooh, nice critical hit on the last one.
Health's getting a little low, but we're fine. over there time for a drink time for some food uh sanctuary might need to be replenished it's not critical though so five more to go there's five more there's five right here if every single one of yours Actually, there's more than five. If a few of you could drop those wings, that'd be great. You yeah, know, if you're not up to anything. If you're not busy, you could drop those wings, that'd be fantastic. down twice come on damn with all the knockdowns One, yes, yes. Two, yes, yes. Three. Ah. Oh. Well, what are we at now? Nine of 12, okay. Video is almost one hour long. If we could at least get these two quests done, that'd be great. Two more pieces over here. Damn that knockdown. Damn you! I'm still a bit nervous about <laughs> that Ephelry bit just rocking up right behind us. Feel like it's around about the time that it does. Jeez, I <laughs> haven't went to the high heavens. Yes. No. No! What about 10 or 12? Okay, two more, two more. Let's get some more uh, Zeppelin parts. Although there's certainly no shortage of that. They're absolutely scattered everywhere. Three more. One, two, three. 
have another drink. Gain 20 strength for 15 minutes. That actually wouldn't be a bad idea. Soon we're going to be able to make those Ravager dogs, eh? Well, I mean, I can make them now, and that'll give me 40 attack power. Not too shabby. Uh, I was looking for something to munch on, but I don't think I have anything. You are going to show me the money. And your buddy down here too. And that guy up top. They drop pretty quick. One more plump wizard. Wizard? Buzzard. <laughs> Anybody seen a plump wizard around? Maybe they got some plump buzzards on their person. <laughs> oh, one hour in this video, I'll tell you what, funny things start happening. 29%. There you go, beautiful. All right, well, we got the job done. Let's get that, and we'll get that one, and we can get the hell out of here. Job done. Getting us ever so closer to level 61. And the mace, the mace of power. So in the next episode, I'll probably look to get a group together for Hellfire. Uh, Rampart straight away. If at all possible. Um, otherwise we'll just continue questing. But I'll do my best because just having a look and seeing how many people are around. It's got to be possible. It's got to be possible. Get a dungeon run or two. Not only is it good for you know a bit of blue gear and so on. But also the experience from some of those dungeon quests is great. All right, let's hand in. Yo. Yo! Did you find enough of the parts? If not, I might have used to use that frying pan Legacy keeps waving around. Then I'd have to rename the Zeppelin the Flying Skillet. Some of this is in pretty bad shape, but there should be enough to work with here. With some creative engineering, I'm confident I can make it work. What you got for me, buddy? Um, increases defense, yeah, but it doesn't, I lose out on intellect, don't I? I'll take it. Hurry back! What's up? What's up? What's up is I got the plump buzzard wings from those wizards. I can't wait to see the look in his face when he digs in. Ever since the crash, he's been complaining that all I ever think of is food. Well, someone's gotta feed us while he tinkers with the zeppelin. Ravager eggs, bam! Hellball bacon, bam! Buzzard wings, bam bam! What a great meal! You've really got to try it. <laughs> Glad I could help. Right. Well, we now know how to make. What is it? Where to go? Buzzard bites. Great. Uh, I'm gonna leave the episode here for today, folks. But if you've enjoyed this longer format uh, episode, let me know. Hit the like button and uh, drop a comment if you like. I'll see you in the next video. Cool. Bye.